I'm Graham Dunning and I'm about to start making the industrial painting recordings for the first uh, Music by the Meter. It's based on Giuseppe Pino Galizio's idea uh, of his industrial painting, painting by the meter. Uh, I'll be setting up various machines which will play automatically, the idea being that throughout the uh, tape there's not much change really so you can listen to it any any of the different meters will be approximately the same although they'll all be different because of various live elements uh, various looping elements which will be interacting differently um, so I'm going to start setting up now and then I'll describe some of the processes once I've set it up so this is the recording setup uh, the reel-to-reel -reel play there and some speakers just to for playback so I can monitor. Um, I'll be setting up the rest of the inputs in a minute. So this is the complete setup for the first Music by the Meter piece. I'll go through each sound source and uh, tell you what it does and then overdub a little bit of it playing by itself so that you can hear how it affects the overall mix. So first down here I've got a cassette player uh, which is playing a found tape um, from a charity shop uh, just voices speaking basically um, that goes into an octave pedal over here with the uh, mixer and stuff so that you just get a double octave, the second octave down of the voices it kind of sounds muffled uh, and then into the mixer obviously so that's the tape player, the first input I'll play you a bit of what that sounds like now Okay, next we've got this record player here, which is quite noisy. You can probably hear the uh, motor because it's got, as you can see on here, a different motor put on so it can play at a wrong speed. So this is playing uh, probably about 15 16 RPM. It's playing a 78 record, and uh, that sounds like this. What I've done there, you can see, just about see this piece of thread holding the stylus in place so that it'll play the same loop continuously. That's the same technique used on this record player. And that sounds like this. Then that goes into this mixer as does this record player and the signals are split um, so that one of them can go through uh, a different delay pedal uh, which is this one, the second one and the second one sounds like this Then we've got the analog synth, which is set to uh, play a continuous tone with a bit of uh, modulation on the filter cutoff and the uh, pitch width modulation. It's pretty much a square wave, quite low. And that goes into an EQ pedal before going into stereo delay just to widen the sound a bit. And that goes into the mixer there. And the final element is uh, over here, there's a microphone out of the window, so that's picking up live environmental sounds, um, and that feeds again into the mixer. This is the music by the meter stall then at the V22 project space. So we've got the original reels of tape, there's three of those, and each comes with a Polaroid of the setup, and there's the spool of tape. Um, and then you can buy these uh, bags, each containing a couple of meters of the 
aforementioned tape. And with those we also get one of these which is a diagram uh, showing what we've been talking about in this video. Uh, various other bits and bobs, some speakers so you can listen back to samples of the tape that you're going to buy. And of course a tape measure and scissors to measure it out with.